So, what is your name? Anne. Anne, and yours? Riza. Zuvi. Zuvi! What a nice little name you've got there. Yours? Melfa. Melfa. Heinz. Heinz? Heinz. Oh, I thought like Heinz. Your name is Sophia? Ophir. Ophir. So you all you all live in Israel? Yes. Where in different places? Same in Tel Aviv. Oh, in Tel Aviv. I'm from Tel Aviv originally. Uh huh. What and is this place? This place called Ramut. 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 Yes. There are many Filipinos here. Man many Fil Adelaide. many Filipinos everywhere in Israel. But um, the Philippines is just a great, beautiful place. Absolutely. Yes, yes. The whole nature there. Oh my God. Yeah. Amazing. Especially beaches there. It's very, very amazing. Yes, there is a place like a tour. So usually we're gonna take how many hours? Now? Yeah. Two hours. Okay. Wow. So you are our tourist guide, and you tell every place. Yes, and if you have if you have any questions, so please ask. Yeah, okay. This area. Syria. Yes, it used to be Syria. Many battles. Okay. Took place here. Traffic. So particularly what is the word? Good morning! Well, the work now you see, the Golan Heights has three different versions to it, okay? The mountains usually either green during the winter and then during the summer it turns into a beautiful blonde because it is all yellow and we have the water so it's like a blonde girl with blue eyes and then during the summer, we also have fires, then it turns black. So green, yellow, and black. And when we get back, is it the same way? No. Oh, okay. Now it has the blonde one. Now it's the blonde one, yes. yes. Uh, so while we are going ahead, it, 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 it becomes steep and steep. I mean, um, become rough and rough like that. No, no, we're not, ah. we're not doing like super, yeah, okay. uh, you know, super uh, aggressive super tour. It's, ah. um, so it's just like this along the way? Something like that, yes, yes. Are you relaxed now? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, I bought two different Jeeps and I'm doing the Jeep tours. But I have a lot of experience driving a Jeep because, first of all, this is what I did in the army. I was guiding Jeep drivers. And then I used to guide people, Israelis, abroad in different places like Jordan, Georgia, Turkey, Greece, Egypt, all with Jeeps. And now here in the Golan Heights, now I'm a family man, so I'm not, I'm not like going a lot abroad. I'm staying here. Going up! Like, like we are in Bagel. <laughs> oh, no! What happened? Now you can see that when this place, the Golan Heights, used to be Syria, and Israel used to be there down the water, you can see the advantage the Syrian had before shooting at Israel is there in the lake. Fishermen, uh, farmers. And then in 1967, we had to fight for this place, which has a huge um, advantage in elevation. 
and it was horrible, the Six Day War in 1967, and then another one, the Yom Kippur War in 1973. Mm -hmm. So, in 1973, we extended this territory, the Golan Heights, further to the east, and now we're talking about 1,800 of square kilometers that we control. Mm -hmm. You see the farmers, they grow mangoes in this area. Mm -hmm. This is all mango here. It's an empire of mangoes. Yes, dwarf the main product here is the... Now the season starts. You can see the little, little flowers. Flower. It's going to be beautiful mango. So you all know about the stories happened here around the Sea of Galilee, right? Mm -hmm. You've probably been in churches here? Yes. Yeah, so this is where Jesus, here in the north side of the Sea of Galilee, where Jesus spent the last three years of his life. Mm -hmm. Jesus was born in Nazareth, of course. Yeah. He was growing up there until he was 30. And then he's coming here where he get recognized for the first time. Okay. Hello, how is the ride? So you believe? Yeah, yeah it was great. great. Yeah. The, the, the first how are you? Uh, it's in the desert. You come here. They didn't follow their guide. <laughs> 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 Don't be like Israelis that are coming here today. And I will try to explain a little what we are seeing from this area. First of all, it's a nice overlooking. It is quite clear now today that we see a big part of the lake. It's not a sea, it's a lake. But in the Old Testament and also in the New Testament, the word lake don't exist. So it's the Sea of Galilee. Galilee. Mm -hmm. And it's funny that in every language it has another name. In English it's the Sea of Galilee. Mm -hmm. In English, in Hebrew it will be Kinneret. Yeah. Yeah. In German, the Zee of Nazareth. The Zee of Nazareth. It's, we are not close near Nazareth. Never mind. In Arabic it's Yama and so on. Take care. Take care where you're walking over there. It's not a nice feeling. <laughs> <laughs> Guys. The Sea of Galilee, it's the lowest sweet water lake that exists in the world. We are talking about 210 meters below sea level. We are standing now more or less about zero in this area. The same surface like we are by the Sea of Tel Aviv. Sea level, or like in the Philippines, it's the same, the same place. Just before a few minutes, we saw a gazella here running. Pistachio. Ah. No, no, but wait, wait. I know that you big, give a big, big smile, Pastacho. Pastacho is a large family. 
the pistachio that you like to eat, it's not this one. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a bad so I know, but, but there is another one. You see this one with a small fruit. In Latin, in Latin, it's called, the tree is called Shesifus Christus. And why? According to the belief, one of the beliefs, the crown that was put on the head of, of Jesus, Jesus. Okay. was from this thorn oh, bush okay. that is very or from this or from there it's very with a lot Sharp. of thorn and Sorry. the fruit of it will be called in the local language here it will call domi why domi from the word domi our lord in latin so maybe this was the the crown that was put above his head we can see from here, straight ahead on the other side, we can see from one side, we see the city of Tiberias. The city of Tiberias was established by the grandson of Herod the Great. Herod the Great. As I mentioned also in the New Testament, Herod, not the first Herod, his grandfather, but his 